Mosquitoes carry malaria, threatening people in many countries. Can we solve this problem by protecting homes with a simple and inexpensive device? I've been in the, in the business of mosquitoes for the last 22 years, um, studying these insects not only because they are fascinating, but also because they cause a lot of trouble in the world. Uh, because of diseases like malaria, which still every year cause the death of more than 700,000 people worldwide. Twice a week, entomologists feed lab mosquitoes with their own blood. These insects, I mean, they've, they've been with us for millions of years. I mean, they are an evolutionary Rolls Royce, if you wish. I mean, they are very good in finding people. They are very good in transmitting the diseases that they carry. And controlling them for us as mankind has been very complicated because if we spray an insecticide on them, they become resistant. So we have to find new and very creative ways of killing these mosquitoes and parasites. Mosquitoes bite at night, entering buildings through ventilation shafts and other openings. A European research project has developed a simple solution, plastic tubes with nets inside. The nets are coated with insecticide that electrostatically sticks to the mosquitoes. The ventilation is still there, but in those ventilation holes we are now installing our tubes with the netting. And the netting has the insecticide on so that when a mosquito comes from over a distance, responding to the smell of these humans, they will then land on the gauze, pick up the insecticide and they will die. First, will the solution work outside the lab? Researchers have tested the device in more than 1,300 houses in Tanzania with good results. They're now working with local construction companies to have the anti-mosquito tubes installed in all new buildings. For a full seven months, we can kill 100% of the mosquitoes that are making contact with the gauze. So we know from field data that it actually works for more than half a year. The installation cost can be quite high up front, but afterwards if you have to replace only the netting, it will be very, very cheap. So we have calculated that on an annual basis, per person, per year, the cost will be around one to two dollars. Scientists are trying different materials and shapes to maximize cost effectiveness. The tube, installed under the roof, is out of reach of children, so a wide range of insecticides can be used safely. Studies show that enough of the chemical sticks to the insects to ensure that they don't develop a resistance. Here, for instance, you see a mosquito that's been exposed to our coating. Uh, all the orange you see here is where it got the insecticides on its body. So it's way better uh, e exposure than, for instance, a bed net. The system potentially could be used in other applications, improving the safety of African families. The future for this technology is very simple. We now have two main methods of malaria mosquito control in Africa. One is indoor spraying on the walls with insecticide, which is done twice a year, or we put people under bed nets. What we want to achieve is that this is number three. We have nets, we have indoor spraying, and we have EVE tubes.